welcome back to Jim Boy's Kitchen. If you're just joining my channel, well, welcome to Jim Boy's Kitchen. Uh, today, what do you see in front of your screen? Something very nice, huh? Yeah. I want to show you how simple and easy, this is an easy recipe. Uh, one of the fastest uh, appetizer, you could say the dish, um, uh, that we could make within less than five minutes. So long as you get all whatever you want to use, the ingredients prepared, you're good to go. I'll show you an easy step. Easy. Um, now many of you call pepper sauce hot sauce or hot sauce pepper sauce. Well, that's what I'm going to be making right now. Some delicious uh, hot sauce. You could use um, uh, balafaya pepper. I got some weary pepper here. Nice spicy hot pepper. Now, um, what do you call it? Uh, there's another um, pepper. You could use a hot pepper. Um, is it ha uh, jalapeno or something, right? <laughs> Whatever hot pepper you want to make, all right? You could make uh, pepper sauce or hot sauce with this. So simple dish. All you need to do is get some pepper. Get a couple of cloves of garlic right there. Some salt. And, of course, some bad boy vinegar. In this case, I'm using white vinegar, right? Got a little bit of uh, white vinegar uh, there. Uh, so easy to make this. That's all it takes to make uh, hot sauce or pepper sauce. Let me show you what I'm going to do right now. Now, when I say this, don't tell me no. I know many of you make pepper sauce without this bad boy garlic. Try my design, my recipe, my creation. Hard garlic. Uh, I want you to blend garlic with the pepper and to that pepper sauce. You'll have a wonderful texture of a uh, hot sauce or pepper sauce. Once it's uh, blended with garlic, oh man, fresh garlic can't go wrong. I'm telling you what. Uh, but now what we will do, we will try to toast this. I'll toast this garlic, all right, to just bring it to a brown flavor, to bring out all that infuse, uh, that uh, heavy spice or that, uh, you know, vapor that it carries inside that burns your mouth. Yeah, you don't want to taste that raw garlic. We want to flavor this hot sauce, all right, that we're going to be making. So I'm going to use a frying pan. All right. Uh, Got me some uh, cloves of garlic here. Now I'm going to tell you this, folks. For the first time, you're going to see how pepper sauce has been made. Yeah, hot sauce or pepper sauce, you could call it. It's made with the creation of Jim Boy's Kitchen right now. Now, whenever you go to a store, I know many of you, when you go to a supermarket or you buy your hot sauce or when you prepare your hot sauce, you have never make it with a, a roasted garlic. Well, it's a creation of Jim Boy's Kitchen. You will learn this today. Whenever you make your pepper sauce, uh, roast some garlic, all right? Toast some garlic inside and blend it with the pepper sauce, with the pepper. Oh, man, you will love it. Delicious. Uh, kicked up a notch by Jim Boy's Kitchen. Only in Jim Boy's Kitchen you're going to see what to do with this pepper sauce. I'm bringing up the flavor right now with this uh, pepper sauce here. Now, I'm with no oil. Don't put no oil, all right? I just want to toast this garlic in nice heat. Don't want to burn it. Just want to bring it to a brown texture to infuse that um, uh, kind of a hotness or the heat that the garlic usually have, all right? Still, we want to maintain the strength of the garlic. All right, I uh, want to just toss it around, uh, just uh, move it around slowly. Just uh, bring it up, uh, don't remember, keep in mind, don't want to burn the garlic. Just want to uh, infuse it, see, and uh, kind of cut the, the cloves in half, all right? Um, if you can see carefully, I slice the cloves in two halves, so it's uh, it could be toasted properly, all right? And I show you the next step. So, whenever you make hot sauce or pepper sauce, use my way, use my my technology or my creation. All right, and you will enjoy a wonderful, tasty hot sauce at the same time. Oh man, mm -mm 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 -mm. smelling like roasted garlic already. Keep in mind, don't want to burn it. Don't put no oil. I'm not putting oil in this. Uh, uh, in this, uh, I'm not making fried. Uh, garlic. I'm just uh, kind of uh, toasting the garlic right now to change the color and infuse, bring out all the flavor from the garlic. Then I'll show you the next step. But yeah. <laughs> oh man, hot sauce or pepper sauce kicked up a notch by Jim Boy's Kitchen. Beautiful. And it's not a long process, it's easy, very easy, all right? 
just want to bring it down to a nice, uh, just change the color a little bit. I'm just infusing, taking out all that uh, heat uh, that the garlic usually comes with. So when you eat the pepper sauce, you're not going to be tasting raw garlic. It's going to be a flavored garlic inside or a flavored taste in that hot sauce, all right? <laughs> all right, this is pretty good. Toasted garlic already. Next step. All right, I got me, took out that bad boy 20 year old blender. Got this for 20 years. Also the frying pan I used, you could toast it on any pan. Toast the garlic on any pan, doesn't matter. All right, I brought out that bad boy blender. So now, 20 years old, I'm gonna be putting everything in combination. It's all about blending now, all the, everything together, the pepper, the garlic, and add some salt with some vinegar, and that's all you need, and the pepper sauce is done. But usually, um, people are known to, be, to make a pepper sauce, or a hot sauce, with only the pepper and the vinegar, right? Am I right? Yeah! Some salt, and that's it. Well, Jim Boy's Kitchen kicked, up, uh, kicked it up a notch with some roasted garlic inside, and I know many of you will make this and try this recipe of mine creation of Jim Boy's Kitchen. Oh man, you love it. Here goes the garlic. In goes the garlic. Remember a couple of cloves, uh, like six cloves I got here. Nice. Oh man, you had smell of vision. And of course, you know when toasted garlic, when garlic is toasted, toasted how it smell, right? Yeah. <laughs> kind of a smell like dal too, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, now we're going to put uh, everything. Now in goes the pepper. Remember, in goes the pepper. You could also use jalapeno. You could use a, a Scotch bonnet pepper. You could use a wiri wiri, a bala fire, you call it. Well, I'm using wiri wiri right now. All right. After that, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Check this out. So simple to make it. Now, the, where the garlic kicks, kicked it up a notch, all right? And then to get this blender spinning properly and blending properly, at the same time, we're going to add the bad boy vinegar. Eh, I use a little bit of vinegar there, white vinegar preferable. If you want your hot sauce to be thin, you add more <laughs> vinegar. And do me a favor, folks, I will tell you this. Never add water in a blender when you're making hot sauce, all right? Because you, you're going to tend to kind of a, uh, expire the the hot sauce or the pepper sauce all right you don't want to do that vinegar is the pasteurized system for the hot sauce now we're going to put this bad boy on and here we go we're going to blend this bad boy up together oh man look at this hot sauce already so simple So simple, folks. Hey, blending up some hot sauce. So simple to make hot sauce or pepper sauce. But now the secret is uh, do it to do way I did it. Uh, use uh, uh, roasted garlic. Roast your garlic and put it in there. A couple of cloves, man. You give boost up the, the flavor so much, all right? Now it's time to bottle this bad boy. So fast, you know. It only take a couple of minutes to make hot sauce. But... Um, so when you want to really make hot sauce and kick it up a notch, do it my way. You'll love it. I already got some here. Already uh, I did a few days ago and it's, uh, the volume is going down. That's how good it is. So guess what? I'm going to pour this bad boy in now. Make the volume more. <laughs> Look at this. A beautiful bottle of hot sauce again. Or pepper sauce, all right? Kicked up a notch with some... Uh, Oh man, some beautiful roasted garlic. So you want to make it my way when you, whenever you make hot sauce now, use roasted garlic, folks. Roast your garlic, a couple of cloves, and uh, blend it up with a pepper sauce, with a pepper and the vinegar and the salt. That's all you need. Hot sauce is ready with a beautiful flavor. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Until the next one, a fast dish for you, folks. Jim Boy's Kitchen reminding you that be kind to someone that's not kind to you, and kindness will always prevail. Until the next day, or the next scenery oh man gotta send a big shout out to all you folks out there hey um let me see and i must tell you folks that um hey with this hot sauce being so beautiful look at this
I just make the volume higher. I don't let it go down because it's so easy to make hot sauce. Kicked up a notch with that wonderful roasted garlic, all right? I want you to make it my way. And you know, you could eat this with some nice uh, bunjal, some dal and rice. You could eat this on any sandwich. Uh, man, and with that, you could also have some, um, you know, when you eat this uh, hot sauce, uh, you could have some wine to cheers with. Oh, man. And guess what? I already picked up my little wine, you know, man. And I picked it up from none other than a wonderful place, man. A wonderful place that each and every one of you will love. All right? Are you looking for rum? Do you want the best tasty wines and liquor? Then no need to worry. Goose and Wines and Liquor has it all for you. They're located at 1529 Van Vanquen Avenue, Schenectady, New York, upstate. Almost right in your backyard. That's Goose and Wines and Liquor. They have available the Red Nephew from Jamaica, the Bermuda Black Seal, the cracking Trinidadian rum, that's Goosey Wines and Liquor. They have wines and liquor from the entire Caribbean region, from different parts of the world, example Venezuela, Dominica, Barbados, Haiti, just to name a few. The Sencoro Tequila, the Don Julio 1942. The Terimara, produced by The Rock. The Casamigos Mezcal by George Clooney. The Ducey XO. The El Dorado Rama. The 3, 5, 8, 12, 15, 21 year old. El Dorado Rum Cream. The Hennessy Master Blender's Cognog. The Butchinans Deluxe. The Blended Scotch Whiskey. The Verve Click Clock Champagne, the Deep Eddy Vodka, the Pirat Run Volcano Tequila, and more. That's a Goosey Wines and Liquor. They're open Monday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., and Sundays, 12 noon to 8 p.m. Once again, they're open Monday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., and Sundays, 12 noon to 8 p.m. That's Goosey Wines and Liquor. When you reach at Goosey Wines and Liquor, Shami and Nadira will be there to service you with a smile. Telephone them at 518-357-3545. That number once again at Goosey Wines and Liquor. 518-357-3545. Shami and Nadira will be there to service you with a smile. And also Shivani, Vashni, Nadia, the entire crew at Goosey Wines and Liquor. Go check them out today. Once again, they're open uh, seven days a week, Monday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., and Sundays, 12 noon to 8 p.m. That's Goosey Wines and Liquor, located at 1529 Van Vanquen Avenue, Schenectady, in New York, upstate. Go check them out today. And of course, I must tell you, hey, I got me my wines and liquor right there from the man, Goose Hill Wines and Liquor. All right, uh, yeah. And of course, you could cheers with this wonderful um, hot sauce or pepper sauce, whatever you want to call it. But now, I must tell you, kicked up a notch with some roasted garlic by Jim Boy's Kitchen. Do it my way. You will have a wonderful, tasty hot sauce or pepper sauce. Until the next one, I'll see you then. And remember, folks, you could always taste it uh, for more salt. If you need, think you need more salt, then you add some salt inside, like what I did earlier, right? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't take long, right? Didn't take long at all. Just a couple of minutes, you got yourself wonderful, tasty hot sauce.